everyone, it's John with uh, Crazy for Dahlias. I'm at the Mid-Atlantic Trail Garden hosted by the National Capital Dahlia Society and we're going to divide a clump of that we just dug. So, very important thing when you're dividing your tubers, I have a bleach mixture, 10%, always dip in bleach to spread, to stop spreading virus. Uh, virus is spread by us more so than insects. Uh, we have a clump here of crazy for TD. I keep them in shoe boxes. So we were probably a little rough with this guy today because we got a couple broken tubers. The first thing you want to do is start getting rid of all the junky stuff in your clump so you can easily see things. And get on rid of all these hair roots. I'm gonna point this out here. That's a mother tuber. You don't need that. You don't want that. It's not gonna really do anything. So we just snap it off and get it out of there. If you, if I only had like one or two tubers, I might save that to do cuttings in the spring. But I've obviously got enough tubers here. So in the clump, you're looking for eyes. And we have a bunch of eyes here. One, two, three, four. Um, it's a very nice tuber. And always go for what's easy first. And then clean it up some. All these hair roots can go. A good tuber. Uh, normally, I would have cinnamon here with me but I forgot to bring it with me and I would dip any of the wounds in it uh, to create a scab um, also as it dries it'll spread in the vermiculite um, again go for the easy stuff first and this is the only tool I use it's ARS uh, I think they're 45s uh, as long as they're sharp uh, they'll do everything you need them to do. Again, clean up all your hair roots. And if it didn't fit into a four inch pot, I might cut the end off. It's not necessary to have that. But again, we have eyes. look in here and I see something with an eye right here it's gonna cut it up and loosen it I'm not gonna get it out yet because I'm gonna have to move its side tubers there and right in here we got this weird little cluster these two we're not gonna do anything so I'm going to get rid of them just so I can make my cuts. But this is a good tuber. This is a good tuber. What I might do ahead of time is I might split right there so that I can then go in there and pop that off. And then I can come over here and pop this other one off, which is connected to something else, but it got the one I cut earlier out safely. So... Uh, there's not the neck is missing a lot on this one, so we're gonna get rid of that. Then we'll keep that. I'll put that back in there and get that junk out of there. That's gonna be divided a little more, but I'm just gonna while I'm at it knock some of the stuff out. So these, don't let these tubers fool you. They're just riding along. They don't have any crowns to them. They're just tubers on tubers. What'd you call them, Valerie? Feeder tubers. Feeder tubers. Again, there's some more right there. I'll just get rid of those. Just so they're not confusing. And unfortunately, this guy's gotten trimmed too much next to it, so we're just going to pull him off of there. And 
So we get this cluster. And at least one of these is going to have an eye. I know that does. These two, I'm not sure, but I don't want to store a tuber. That's a big Y. So I'll just take a chance and have a piece of crown each to them. That guy's a little long for me. So I cut him down. I'll cut him down. I like tubers that fit into a four inch pot. Um, that's why I do that. Uh, I don't like huge tubers. It takes them longer to uh, develop plants and live on their own. So smaller tubers are a good thing for me. And then right here, we're just going to split that guy. Well, I got pretty close to that eye, but there's an eye there. An eye there. Then again, remember, I'm going to be dipping all the ends in cinnamon. And then I'm putting about... Uh, Fill this halfway with vermiculite. Give it a little shake. Probably let that sit with the top off of it for about a week. But after that, I put a top on and it's ready to store for the winter. Thank you.